Heidi Possel, welcome back to A Plus Maths. Today let's work on the midpoint formula. Should be a pretty easy video for everybody. With the midpoint formula, most of the questions are pretty simple. Just find the midpoint of the interval AB. We'll go through that in example number one. Then you get other questions with midpoint. They're a little bit trickier where you actually have to think about it where they're not just asking you for the midpoint. You might actually have to understand that it's what the midpoint that you're being asked for. And they're the tricky questions in midpoint. Now remember, midpoint is the middle. So if you're trying to find the midpoint of anything, you're trying to find the middle of it. And how do you find the middle of anything? You find the average. And that's what the formula is, average. So when you're trying to find midpoint, and be careful midpoint is always capital M, the midpoint is the average of the x values and the average of the y values. And to find the average of two points, you add them up and divide by two. So the midpoint formula is just finding the average. That should be pretty simple. Let's have a look at the first type of questions you can get, which is really just find the midpoint of two points A and B, or find the midpoint of an interval AB. We know that the midpoint formula is x1 plus x2 on two, and y1 plus y2 on 2. Don't forget, if you're going to use a rule, you should always write the rule down. Don't get lazy. We want to get them right. Remember from distance, if I want to use x1, y1 and x2, y2, the best thing to do is to label the points first. x1, y1 and x2, y2. Once the points are labelled, then all I need to do is substitute the points into the right place and work it out x1 plus x2 over 2 and y1 plus y2 over 2. If you can do them in your head, that's great. If you need a calculator, use a calculator. Make sure you do the x1s first and then the y part second. They are separate things. 1 plus minus 2 on 2 is minus 1 over 2. 5 minus 7 over 2 is minus 1. That's the midpoint of our two points A and B. That's the easiest type of question that you'll ever get for midpoint. The other types of questions that you get will look something like this. The midpoint of the interval joining A, 3, negative 1, and B, x2, y2, is negative 4, 2. Find the coordinates of B. Well, this is an interesting question because they've told us that the interval is A, B, and the actual midpoint is negative 4, 2. So this might be one of the types of questions where you need to work backwards. Let's draw a picture first. It's always good if we have a diagram to look at. Your diagram doesn't need to be accurate. Just approximate. 3, negative 1 will be somewhere down there. x2, y2, we don't know where that is. Negative 4, 2 will be somewhere over here. That's our midpoint. And the line joining them They've told us that this point here is the midpoint of AB. If that is the midpoint of A and something else, doesn't that mean that B must be somewhere all the way, well, over here? Because M is the midpoint of AB, and that becomes X2, Y2. Let's have a look at our formula. M equals, remember it's average, X1 plus X2 on 2, comma Y1 plus Y2 on 2. It's very important in this formula, midpoint formula, that the X comes first and the Y comes second. Let's label our points. That must be X1, Y1. This is x2, y2, and negative 4, 2 is the midpoint. So that must go over here. x1 is 3, x2 is 2, y1 is negative 1, and that's my formula substituted into. Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky, because... I'm saying that this is the x value of the midpoint. Isn't this the x value of the midpoint as well? So that must mean 
that negative 4 equals 3 plus x2 on 2. And I should be able to now solve that to get the value of x2. Times both sides by 2 to get rid of the fraction. I'm left with negative 8 equals 3 plus x2. So x2 equals negative 8 minus 3 is minus 11. So far so good. Let's have a look at the y value. The y value here is 2. And the y value over there of the midpoint using the formula is negative 1 plus y, 2 on 2. But they must be equal. So I can now solve this equation. Times both sides by 2. 4 equals negative 1 plus y2. So y2 equals 4 plus 1, which is 5. Therefore, the coordinates of b would be my x value first and my y value second, negative 11, 5. Let's have a look at question number three. I've drawn the picture, A and B are my endpoints of the diameter, and I'm being asked to find the centre of the circle. Find the centre of a circle that has a diameter with endpoints A, negative 1, 2, and B, 2, negative 4. So I have a diagram here, and I'm being asked to find the centre of the circle. Won't the centre of the circle be the midpoint of A and B? Think about that. That's the diameter, the centre is always in the middle. So I have the midpoint formula, which is x1 plus x2 on 2, y1 plus y2 on 2. Don't forget to label our points. And then all I need to do is substitute the points in and work it out. Be careful that you substitute the points in correctly into the right spot. That's a very common mistake and if you do that, then you get it wrong. And we should get that as being the midpoint of my circle, which is the centre. The midpoint of AB, which is the centre of my circle. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe.